Hello, it's Gem Games here again. Today we are going to make the movement uh, feel better, or at least look better. Now, when we uh, when we move, when we are aiming or not aiming, any uh, nothing moves. Everything, like the gun and the hand mesh, both are like static. They don't do anything. Yep, we're gonna fix that today. So first, let's go to the first person folder and to the blueprints, and let's open the PP first person character. And now let's uh, create a function. I will call it uh, character. Mm, I will call it character sway. I don't know if that's a real thing, but. It's like the weapon's way, but for the character. You can name it whatever you want. Now I'm gonna add it to here. Okay, to the event tick. Compile and save. Now I have to. First, I'll create a branch. And we have to check if the uh, ADS timeline. Displaying. Okay. And if it's not playing, then we have to get the hands mesh and set relative rotation like this from the false. Okay. And then we have to create the code for it, which is. First, we have to get the capsule component uh, get world rotation, and from here we have to get get right vector like this. Then we have to get the character movement, and from here get the velocity. Oh, not this one. This bottom one, and get velocity like this. Then we have to do a dot dot product from here, connect this to like this, and now I will actually make this a little bit cleaner, okay, let's cool it off, and uh, now from here, um, I actually want to make a select, select float, you can use normal select also, but I I don't know why I'm using the select float. I think it look, looks a little bit cleaner. <coughs> now we have to divide this dot value, divide. And let's copy this here. Connect this to uh, A with the B. And this uh, variable, which, uh, which we have to check, is, is ADS. And if it is aliasing, we will have to use the A, which I think was minus uh, 6000. Actually, you can just uh, multiply it by 6000 without the minus then thing. But yeah. And this one uh, I think was plus 10,000. Okay. Then we have to mm, oh we actually have to move this a little bit further away and then I'll move this a little bit more down and then we have to get the hand smash again and from here get relative uh, rotation I think yeah rotation and now from the relative rotation we want to um, um, what we have to um, um, add at this value to there like this, and then we want to move this even further away. I split this in rotation 
and now we want to connect this value to the x and now i think we want to connect the z here like right there and now we want to we want to actually get from the y get it here and press plus and add and now we can just leave it there for a second and oh we can actually already connect it to the y and now we uh, uh, want to copy all this and move it to here let's give it a little bit of space and now we want to change the get right vector get forward vector like this and connect it to the dot product and now from here we actually I will move this even further away like this okay and from this return um, oh actually have to do one more thing I have to move this further away and we have to remove both of these so alt and left click and then we want to connect uh, oh actually we can remove this also leave only this here and it should be mm, minus 10,000 at least for me and now I will connect it to the B B value and after the after that we actually want to leave this to zero and we want to connect this to here like this now it is done let's see what happens When we move the right, uh, oh, oh, I forgot to. Oh, I found the problem. We actually, I actually set the mesh here. We want to get the hands mesh. Sorry about that. Now, let's see. Now, if we move right turn right if you move left it will turn left yeah and up like or front and here you can see it turns you can change the values to whichever you want like this I think this looks good and after we add the animations it will look much much better now it looks like a little bit more dynamic now when we are aliasing looks it isn't and this doesn't do anything because it looks so weird if we add rotation to like this uh, direction so we will do one more thing so it looks a little bit more good I think okay and that is we actually want to add a, another thing to here which is actually let's create a print first just to be sure uh, is aliasing get is aliasing and if it is aliasing then we can actually set relative location and we want to get the hand smash like this let's split the rota uh, location and now I actually need to mm, I need to get hand smash again and get relative um, location and I want to connect the Y to the Y and set to the Z like that and then from the X I want to um, F interp 2 like this and the current we want to uh, connect a relative uh, location X and to the delta time we want to get 
get world delta seconds like this and to the inter speed i will put like six i think that was good and now we want also to get this hmm. uh, what was it we need to let me think oh we need to get this dot value to here and divide it and i think the value was 600 and i will add a reroute point there and now we want to add and we want to get the fps mesh transform ads like this and then we will need to split that split the location and now we want to get the x to here and now we add that value to x and connect this to the target okay now let's check if everything works like this supposed if we move like this it turns Move like this, and then if we move to right, move to left. Move. Now, if we move forward or backwards, the gun will move a little bit also, so it gives a little sense of uh, movement or something like that. Now it looks more dynamic when we are moving. It looks like we are actually holding a holding the gun, and if we are not aliasing, it just rotates a little bit and you can change these values as you want and you can ch uh, uh, multiply by minus one or any negative number or anything like that like that if you want to uh, like rotate to, to the how do you say it like counter rotate so if we go to the right it if it if you go to the right it moves like this but if you want it to ch turn like this when you move to the right you can just multiply it or that part with minus one and now i actually can explain a little bit how this works so first we check we are not uh, playing the ads timeline so if we are playing it messes this code up so it doesn't work like at least not very well so that's good to add then we want to set the relate uh, relative rotation and uh, x value which is the relative rotation we want to just add this one which is we get uh, check the get the right vector so which is the uh, like vector to the right like exactly right to the uh, or from the actor and we want to get the velocity and if you do the dot product it checks the basically gets the uh, velocity when you're moving to right like if you're moving 500 units to right per second it's 500 to right and if you're moving left it's minus 500 so yeah and these are just these divide things are just some values that i came up with and now this value this at 10,000 is the value that we add there if we are not aliasing so it will turn like some amount this minus 60,000 is when we are aliasing so if we use this while aliasing it will turn so much you can even see the weapon it will I can show you what this does if we put here like thousand this and play we're aliasing this doesn't look very good so I put I can put like 60 to here and now it looks like this but I don't like that it goes like to the if we go to the right it turns to the left so I uh, divided it by minus 60,000 now when we do that it goes like this I think it looks better but it's you can change it to whatever you want now this one is almost the same thing but we on uh, get the forward vector and now when we do the dot product to the velocity it checks the velocity at to the forward and backwards and and if we are aliasing uh, if you're not aliasing it will add minus 10,000 
so it will rotate but if you are we don't want to rotate it or it looks like i can show you if i put like if i connect this to there it will look like this it doesn't look good okay so i will add uh, just leave it to zero and this one here is the same it gets the forward speed and now we divided it by 600 that's just some value that i came up with now it adds to the basic uh, ads transform which we uh, set after the where is it after the ads has finished here we set it always and yep and how do i and it interrupts from the current location. It interrupts to the that ADS location plus this forward speed divided by 600. So it's like where you between 0 and 0.8 or something like that. Okay, so it's if you if I make this like 100, oh 100, it makes it look uh, move much further and faster like this okay so i will leave it to 600 but you can put whatever you want there and this be just how fast it goes make the six watts this was good now it's like pretty much the same as right and left you can see it's pretty clean okay yeah i think this is all for this video hope you enjoyed and if you did, please, <coughs> sorry, please uh, click the like button and subscribe. Yeah, I think I will make a one more video today. So yeah, till the next one. Bye.